must break at some kind of primitive, but it's actually uh, perfect. It's got a mean to such a building. It's a perfect isolation. It's cool during the uh, summer. It's, uh, it's warm in the winter. Um, and the beautiful thing about these buildings is that, that we really see a communal effort, effort in these buildings because uh, this is very uh, fragile material. So the community every year uh, has to uh, uh, has to uh, uh, mix these these, these uh, uh, has to repair uh, these, these buildings. And it's, it's a communal effort. It's like a it's like a, uh, a public festival in which in which these uh, buildings every year are restored. And this is the uh, Great Mosque of Jenner. This is the biggest adobe, like, my favorite building in the world. Uh, Jenner is is uh, is right close to Timbuktu. Uh, that was the um, that, that's another interesting, uh, that's another important um, uh, issue that I want to bring to your attention. Uh, this is a picture of the Al Azhar University in Cairo, it's a picture from the 19th century. And uh, uh, some of these students, these are students here, um, and some of these students uh, were very well known in, in, in Cairo, the Takhrouri <coughs> scholars uh, and students. West Africans coming to Egypt uh, uh, to study. Um, and many of them, uh, well, many of them went back, but some of them actually settled in Egypt and were very uh, influential scholars uh, um, until, you know, even uh, in the 20th century, uh, uh, a lot of uh, these West African scholars, Shingeti scholars, uh, very important for, uh, for for the whole development of uh, Islamic ideas in the 20th century. Uh, we have Western, uh, we have West African scholars like Othman um, who, uh, whose, whose works are still taught all over uh, the Islamic world as basic textbooks. Uh, and these are scholars from the 19th century. So what I want to show you with this is that, that the scholar, that the story of, of West African scholarship is not a story of well, the 14th century, you know, before the Renaissance. You know, this was the uh, the, the precursor to, to, to Western scholarship, but this is a continuous uh, actually tradition of scholarship that has never really that has never really died. Uh, so when you see these nice images of manuscripts outside, it looks like oh well, you know, it was discovered somewhere in the sand or something. But these are family uh, 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 libraries that are still working. These are still working libraries. Uh, there, there's a there's a manuscript culture in which students and scholars today still write, you know, books by hand. Uh, difficult to imagine for us, uh, but um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different way in which you uh, in which you learn knowledge, in which you internalize knowledge. So this is not uh, um, uh, we, we cannot speak about an intellectual tradition that was some, at some point cut off or totally destroyed by colonialism. That's something that has very much survived uh, and that, that still that still exists in West Africa. Um, so what it shows here is. Um, is that uh, these people are still reading these books. Uh, you can see these are old books. You can see the uh, effects uh, on, on, on the edges of the, of the pages. But this is still uh, a tradition that is, that is very much alive. Um, so uh, generally, we, we are only used to these kind of pictures of uh, uh, these manuscripts being preserved so that they are not destroyed. Um, but that kind of takes these con manuscripts out of their, out of their context. So, um, uh, Manuscripts have until until today been part of a, of a continuous tradition of, uh, of scholarship. Um, so uh, um, what I want to leave you with is that um, uh, with, the, with the following idea, um, I I wholeheartedly uh, support this, this exhibition. I'm, I was very happy uh, when I when I heard that this exhibition would be carried out here. Um, but this is really only what we have. The information that we have about the book is really only the beginning. And uh, so don't, don't think that, that the things that have been discovered until now, that's it. No, we know what is in these works. There are probably tens of thousands of books that haven't even been discovered yet. These are private holdings, private libraries uh, in these areas. Um, we don't know the full intellectual history of this area. We only really know the drop of this. Most scholars until now have only focused on social history, you know, what people did, their, their everyday uh, uh, dealings. But the actual ideas, the, the philosophy, uh, the theology, the, the, the mathematics, all of these things have not been studied in, in, in the kind of depth that they, uh, that they deserve. Um, so uh, this, this is an ongoing project and, and uh, what I would uh, 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 contribute
contribute to this uh, discussion about bringing these findings into the school curriculum is that uh, uh, one reason why we should also do this is that and it will also uh, grow scholars. Uh, that, that's the kind of hope that I have, that in 20, 30 years, some, some of those young people that, that are here uh, will, have, uh, uh, will, have, will have their PhDs in, uh, in, uh, in history and have done their research in Timbuktu. Because that is, that is a, <coughs> that's not just the heritage of the, of the African American community, it's, it's, it's a world heritage. And there's, there's so many, um, I mean, it, it, it needs generations and generations of scholars to actually uh, read these texts, understand them, uh, and make them available uh, so, so we can actually, uh, in 20, 30 years, have an exhibition that is actually much more, uh, much, much more important. So this is, uh, this is, while this is a wonderful process, uh, well, this is a wonderful idea, it's, a, it's really the first step, the necessary first step uh, in, in such a project. So um, what I'd like to finish with is um, uh, saying that we know enough, we know enough about the scholarly tradition of West Africa to appreciate its, its sophistication uh, in, in all fields of knowledge, uh, to recognize uh, uh, examples of its influence in the wider Muslim world uh, and beyond. But we know no more than the con contours of this tradition, and it will take uh, uh, decades of sustained work by generations of dedicated scholars to excavate this tradition so uh, it can be appreciated fully and serve to enrich the global community with its ideas. Thank you very much.